वेलकम बैक टू लर्न बाय राहुल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्पायरल मॉडल स्पायरल मॉडल इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट लाइफ साइकिल मॉडल बेसिकली वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस मॉडल ऑन फोर फेजेस फर्स्ट प्लानिंग सेकेंड रिस्क एनालिसिस थर्ड डेवलपमेंट एंड टेस्टिंग एंड द फोर्थ इवेल्यूशन सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट फेज प्लानिंग इट इंक्लूड एस्टिमेशन द कॉस्ट एंड रिसोर्सेस it also involve understanding the system requirement for continuous communication between the system analyst and the customer or we can say we gather customer requirement and create brs or business requirement specification or software requirement specification then we move on risk analysis second phase so during the second phase all the possible solution are evaluated to select the best possible sol solutions then the risk associated with that solution is identified and the risk are resolved using the best possible strategy at the end of this phase prototype is built for the best possible solutions so prototype or design is a dummy model which is functionally not stable then we move on development and testing after the finalize the design the developer start the development of the software and after development is completed then tester start the testing and if he find any issues so he again contact back to the developer and the developer again fix that issue and after the resolution tester again test that particular software and then we move on the evaluation or customer evaluations so here we directly give the software to the customer and we take the feedback from the customer uh, to ensure that as per the requirement uh, our software is working fine or not then again we move on the first part planning then again we gather the requirement then again we go for the risk analysis then again development and testing then again we take the customer evaluation so we again repeat all phases till customer it is not satisfy okay so it is also called iterative and incremental model why because we can see we repeat all phases again and again we gather requirement then development testing evaluation so that's why we call it incremental model as well so let's move on advantages of spire model the first is best approach for testing and development for complex and large project okay the second is cost effective better risk analysis and management third better requirement analysis fast and easy development fourth easy to change requirement and documentation if any change happens in the middle of the development and the last better time management then we move on the disadvantages of spire model the first one is difficult to follow strategy for a small project not much useful for low risk projects need for experienced resources as process is bit complex and the last large documentations so let's we talk about when a spiral model should be followed for large and big projects for high risk projects if requirement are more complicated and the last if frequent change required in the project So this is all about a spiral model. If you like this video, you can subscribe my channel for more videos. And if you have any query, please comment below. Thank you.